Hello everyone, this is Shista and thank you for joining me today. We are doing the next book in the One Big Fat Notebook series, which is Everything You Need to Ace World History. Um, as you can see, it does say the Complete Middle School Study Guide. Of course, if you've been around a little bit longer on my channel, you already know that the word middle school or any grade levels they do not matter to me. I believe this can be used for younger children in elementary as well as for high school students. Of course in this series everything is um, staying is the same and so you have everything um, that you have in the previous books that I review um, beginning with the introduction and important things. We have the table of contents here. Unit 1, the first humans, prehistory to 3500 BCE. Unit 2, first civilizations, 3500 BCE to 300 CE. Unit 3, the Middle Ages, 400 CE to 1500 CE. Unit 4, Renaissance and Reformation, 1350 to 1650. Unit 5, The Age of Exploration, 1400 to 1800. Unit 6, Revolution and Enlightenment, 1500 to 1865. The Era of Imperialism, 1800 to 1914, and that is Unit 7. Unit 8, World Conflicts in the Early 20th Century, 1914 through 1945. Unit 9, Post-World War II, the world from 1945 to today. And this goes through 9-11. Um, they start out by letting you know that BCE means before the common era and CE is the common era along with some extra information here. Each unit has chapters so this is unit 1 and then chapter 1. At the end of the chapter you have check your knowledge and on the back of that page is check your answers. This would be great again um, as notebooking. Also great to use it with a timeline notebook or create your own timeline at home. Chapter 2 Check your knowledge and check your answers. You can use this book to create unit studies. I'm very big on unit studies because if you have multiple grade levels, doing unit studies will help combine a lot of your subjects so you don't have to keep teaching it to each child individually. So combine as much as you can and then work on um, separate subjects as needed. Well, they have done a very good job at putting this book together. You have all of your ancients, so they're going to have the different ancients as far as continents. This is great as a supplement. I would supplement this with um, Story of the World. Story of the World is one that I used with my children to read aloud and this would have been a great help in that that it would give us a little bit something different and more information as well. You could also use this to supplement any world history including those that are in school using school textbooks. I also believe that this can be used 
as a standalone, but you would still have to add in um, like a little bit more just so your children get a little bit more understanding, especially if you're going to use this to teach your younger um, students. One way that I did um, teach history or world history is that I would bring up YouTube videos or even during that time um, just during that time we would visit the library and get certain videos on different continents or different groups of people so that is something that you can definitely do with this particular book and make it more it's also beneficial if you go into a search engine and find maybe coloring pages, drawing pages, um, a little bit more that you can add to this. This would definitely make a great standalone. You just have to put a little bit more effort into it. So each unit and chapter set up exactly the same way. It is very diverse. So when it says world history, it is really including the world as we know it. And just remember that if you come across anything that you do not agree with, you can definitely leave it out or make it an opportunity to learn more. I always believe that I'd rather for my children to know than to not know. So I would like to be, I wanted to be that one who taught it to them first instead of them going out and learning it um, through someone else. So as we move on, you see that it's the same setup, colorful, inviting, thorough. And just as I said, it goes to the end of 9-11. I'm going to see if I can get to that. So it has... Here we go. Nine eleven, it is in here. So this is a great standalone book, great as a supplement teaching all of your children at the same time doing what you need to do bring it in diversity and I highly recommend the complete middle school study guide everything you need to ace world history in one big fat notebook